Hey guys, Gunshy Mora here, and today we are going to be looking at the new creature submissions. Yes. So, first off, we're going to be looking at the guidelines here again. One thread per creature. If someone already has a thread made about a creature suggestion, just feel free to go hop in and uh, make a suggestion in the comments. Um, must be a real, real world extinct prehistoric creature, dinosaur, mammal, reptile, etc. Uh, developers are qualified from posting, developers are disqualified from posting their own ideas. Okay. I'm wondering how that, what that means. Like, does that even include mod developers? <laughs> so. Supplemental information, wikis, images, art is preferred. So, yeah. So, let's just go look at the creature submissions. And honestly, uh, I would just, I wish that they would just do top three. Because I like the top three here. I ain't gonna lie. So, we're gonna go hop in and look at the Gorgo. The Bloodhound of Ark. So, I'm gonna just quickly read through this and I'm gonna get back to you guys. Okay, so... From what I'm understanding here is that they kind of want them mid-tier tame, basically decently powerful mount similar to scale of a Thylio. However, then it's got some abilities besides like what the Othello had. Um, generally members of a group rather than a specific one, aka to, of to the Terror Birds. So, yeah, you'd, like, run into three or four of them like you would with Terror Birds. Um, then we got a tracking ability. By holding the sniff ability, a crosshair will appear in a writer, on a writer's screen. Well, when re released onto a creature in sight, regardless of it, of what it is, where it is, or who it belongs to, the Gorgonopside will be able to tell its general direction. Allowing the rider to track the creature across the map regardless of its location. Okay. So I wonder if that would like give you a option. Like you select what kind of creature you're looking for. And you can track it with the that. Then we also got high level tame finding. While the creature while there are creatures like glow pets that aren't able to detect high level creatures in the area, Gorgonopsis will are have a similar ability that will is more direct or when using this ability the gorgon upside will show direct directions to the highest level creature within a certain radius of itself i am dyslexic as fuck by the way and it is highlight highlighted to their writer's open open beginning view directions this ability can be referred by right, using the ability again blah, 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 blah. whatever so basically, it'll just like give you probably like a little red dot on the map, kind of. I would imagine, like, uh, I want to the Desdemonus is what is it? The Desdemonus is Screech, yeah. Like a little red outline, and you just head towards that, and you just keep on doing that, and you'd eventually find the creature. Then it's got sensory support acting as a companion to other tapes. So, like, the sensory abilities of these guys. Um, other creatures are sniff, sniff. Alright, let's go look at some comments. Let's see if anyone else made any good options. That's actually just an image. Okay. Let's go hop back. And Giant Bison Ice Age Cattle by Nekatus. This is the guy that's made a, what is it? He's made actually a lot of maps. I think he's made Volgara, uh, Ragnarok, Fenjordor. I want to say there's one other. Oh, I can't remember. It's he's one. It's one he's working on now. Fulton, Fogelheim or whatever. Svotolheim. Svotolheim. That's what it is. But yeah, 
This is his suggestion, and I actually quite like it. It is a giant bison, so like a cattle. Uh, I'm going to quickly read through this. Okay, so from what it looks like, this is just a giant bison, but taming it's going to be kind of different. The way it... You're, the way he has it texted out here, the way you're going to tame it is, is you're going to, like, ride on its back and, like, try not to get bucked off, you know, like bull riding. And eventually it just gets tired out to the point where it goes asleep. And then while it's in that point, I'm guessing you just start feeding it. So it's got, like, an interesting knockout method. And then once it's domesticated... Um, it's gonna cause random predators who want to raid your livestock and eat them all. Just to randomly attack your base. But, the females produce a milk that gives baby animals an extra needed boost. So this probably gives a boost to imprinting. Maybe a boost to growth speed. Um, I already know that we got the incubators that give growth to boost speeds and all that. Um, so we also got like a lot of creatures in the games that already do boost babies. So I wonder how they'd incorporate this milk. So potentially it could be warmed up in a cooking pot for a special buff against cold weather. So basically you drink warm milk and then it's gonna keep you warm against like say harsh climates like in uh what is it? It's on Finjordor. It's like the really cold biome. I can't remember it, but that biome. Instead of, like, having wyvern milk, maybe this could be an option. Maybe, like, not as long of an option as wyvern milk, you know? But a good option as well. Um, But they also are going to have a lot of wool, I bet, as well, that you could probably use that as to shear off. So they're going to be kind of like an... have a lot of things to them. So, um, they also... Op offer warmth while you're riding them and they also have a high carry weight like a modern ox uh like modern cattle their feces are more potent fertilizer so cow pies so you can now get them and you'd have i'm betting these like these are more like you're gonna have a herd of animals that are like you know i feel like what i'm gonna because you guys are gonna love what i'm doing in my next episode with some sheep um, I'm gonna go grab my pair and go get some good ones. So, but yeah. Um, mark that out of combat built. Built in charge. I haven't heard this part, so give me a second. Okay, so we got like a combat charge where you can gore and bleed. Um, you're gonna have a herd buff. And a crippling buff inflicted on players and dinosaurs if sex successfully charged. Successfully charged. Okay. Um, and I bet from what he said up top that they're going to also have a, a back kick, you know? I'm guessing. I don't know. Um, then again, it goes into the utilities of the farm animal, like on bison milk, uh, bison cheese, the drink for the buff, uh, the babies, especially wyverns, require them. All right, so this will be like used like a substitute for wire milk. You can. Uh, so cow pies are much a much more efficient than dinosaur species. Sometimes give crops a boost, extra harvest, so they can cause your crops to give out more, like put out more fruit and vegetables. Um, then it also suggests a unique cart and wagon saddle, depending on the type of saddle chosen, it affects how much players, how much players weight they can carry on the back. Wait, what? Affects how the players, how, affects how the, how the players, how much, okay, yeah. Affects how much weight the players can carry back and forth. From point A to point B with more speed. I'm reading this, by the way, and there's a typo here. Okay? How the player, how... Affects how the player, how much... Yeah, that's a typo. It should be go... It should go how the player much... Affects how much the player... I don't know. I'm confused. I confuse myself. The amount of Pisces... All right. So, 
see you. Then it goes into bison milk and grow, how it. Oh, this actually goes into how much what it plans on it. Other boba in there. Fed to warm blooded babies. Oh, so if you feed this to mammals, so it would grow faster. So you know, like, all right. So the incubators does that to cold blooded animals. So this would be like one for warm blooded, and I'm pretty sure we already got some for warm blooded, like the the kangaroos and I think what are they maywings? So yeah, then it goes into bison tree. Okay. Just a sweet and tasty treat. Oh, uh, then it's yeah. I'm guessing this is what it would be for cart saddle, but maybe just one bison. I wonder if it would be like the cart saddle. If you've seen them from uh, Atlas or Animals of Atlas and Ark, there's a cart saddle for their cows. I did have that mod in my series for a little bit, but then I decided I'm going to remove it because <laughs> it was a little much. Felt like there's a lot of animals. So let's go on to the third one here. So I ain't going to lie. These top three are the ones I've loved the most. So I would love if Wildcard would do top three, but I think they're only going to do one. If they do decide to pull out, all right, we're going to do top three, that'd be awesome. But yeah, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. So this is now Ned the Noodles. This one's actually probably the most flushed out. Um, it is this Mitergus. My, my, my I'm guessing. Introduce. Uh, this, I'm going to read through this. Okay, so this is based off of a real goat, uh, according to Wikipedia, he says. Um, and it, just like most mountain goats, it should be able to scale up the side of a wall. And it is going to have some defensive attacks, like a bleed attack due to its horn. So it's going to have like a headbutt that could cause that due to the spiky horns. I'm wondering if it's going to have like a chance multiplier or whatever uh then it's gonna also have some sensory options so the way that they have it set up here is that <clears throat> you can uh show them like certain resources and it's gonna like point them out to you so this is gonna like help you scout for resources and uh they're supposed to be kind of like a rare creature as well so I wouldn't expect to see like herds of them. So you might see just one at a time. Um, yeah, we can scroll down now. All right. So here's the, I was looking for this actually. So here are the resources that's going to help you be able to get. So you can look for raw meat, obsidian, crystal gems, oil, sap, sulfur, silica pearls, black pearls, Fungo wood, raw salt. And I bet that some of that stuff would be changed. So you could probably like have rare, was it? Element ore, nodes, all that kind of stuff. Metal, all that. Stuff that it would be able to find. But like I could imagine, yeah, this would be a good rare resource finder. Uh, beyond the sensory. I have to read again. All right. So it explorer note tracking ability, much like a dire wolf. So similar to the Gorgo, the one that's actually in the lead. Um, and any ability like this, if done correctly, would make collecting them much easier and faster. Okay. So basically, he wants it to be... It's going to be more like an all-terrain creature. So you, you could use this the guy. He'll scan for the notes. But he's also going to be able to run up the cliff sides and all that stuff. So that way they're going to be much easier to get to on him. Compared to a dire wolf where you can't run up the side of a wall with a dire wolf. Um, then in combat it's going to have a bleed, char a bleed damage that can be dished out. Um, uh, it's not going to be a, he a combat heavy mount though. Uh, it's going to be focused in resources, creatures, and explorer notes. So it's going to... Did he say anything about it having a... No, he didn't mention anything about... Oh, he did. 
Okay, I just I just forgot to mention it. It's also gonna have a parasaur thing where it can it's gonna screech out if there's a what is it? Carnivore nearby. Yeah, that's what it is. Um and been into travel as a fan fant As a fantastic creature for scaling vertical regions of any arc, as shown in a dossier, the Mitogurus scale at nearly 90 degree angle with, with how effective vertical climbs are, acting similar to tech boots. Okay, so it's just explaining how it would climb. Then the taming... So it's going to have a taming much like, not unlike gamma, gotchas, but it's also going to have it where it's the resources that it collects. So kind of like, what are they called? Moss chops. So it's, I think it's going to be passive as well. Concluding. All right, then that's just the pitch. He's the goat. Also, you guys are probably loving my Dalexia. I can't read. Okay, this is going to be... I'm going to do two more. I'm going to do the top five. Because then it's like the mold. Then we got this guy. This, actually, this one's actually going to be pretty easy. I actually don't have to scroll anymore. Uh, basically, they want to make a Quetzal Griffin. So, that's what it is. If that's what you want, it's a, it's a Quetzal Griffin. I'm not impressed. I am honestly not. The giant cheetah. Okay. I'll read this one. Gallium Mimus Cheetah. I'm not really impressed with those last two. Oh. Those first two were actually really impressive. Or the first three. That's why I want them, because then it goes downhill. Just give us those first three, because those guys have been trying to get... I think the the Go has been submitted by Ned the Noodle, the last... It was submitted in the last one, I'm pretty sure, as well. Um, I think the one from Nezekin is good. I think I've seen the Gorgo as well around. So, like, please, wildcard, give us those three creatures. But anyways, this has been Gun Chimori, signing off.